In today's video, we're going to go over an easy shiny hunting method to get one of the most popular new Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. Yes, according to a popular poll that was put up in Japan, Tinkaton is one of the most popular, if not the most popular, favorite Pokemon in the new game. So today we are going to go after Tinkatuff, its second stage evolution and an isolated shiny hunting encounter so you can get this Pokemon super easy in your game. In game, you want to be west of the Dali Zappa Passage, which is right here in your games. So you can see the location I am here. And if we go on to the overworld, you can see I'm just in this kind of like ravine area here where I've got a big wall behind me and this tree in front of me here. Again, I'll pull it up on the map so you can see exactly where I am because I feel like this is the best spot where you're going to be able to have a good field of view of all of the Tinkertuff spawning in and you're going to be able to set up your picnic to despawn them and then restart respawning them when your picnic is taken down, of course. So this is the spot. So the first step we are going to want to do before doing anything is just drop a save make sure that your auto saves are off for this method as well if anything goes wrong and you don't get the shiny within the allotted 30 minutes that you get from your sandwich power then it means that you can just reset your game not waste your herba mystica and start the hunt again you're going to set up your picnic as always because like i said we're going to need a sandwich for this method to make it a little bit quicker you can do it without but it will take a lot longer and um, the sandwich that we are going to be making is going to be for level three sparkling power and level three encounter power for fair types. I will put an overlay on the screen right now for you so you've got an idea of some different options if you want to mix your Herba Mysticas or if you want just different options altogether to make your sandwich a bit more exciting and there'll be a link in the description as well with a few more alternatives for you to use. And then we go, we've got that sparkling power and encounter power level three for fairies. We've got the bonus title power added on as well. But the more important ones are that encounter power, sparkling power level three that you're going to need. Just make sure that you check these once you've made your sandwich, especially if you are mixing different Herba Mystica. Once that is done, you want to just pack down your picnic and then put your camera on. It makes it a little bit easier for spotting the Tinker Tuff. The long grass does not help this method at all. That is one of the drawbacks of this course but the, all the Tinker Tuff are going to spawn in this area right in front of you here and you're going to be looking out for the silver hammer is the normal form so you can see here the more metallic looking hammer is going to be what they've got carrying around with them you're going to be looking for a bronze hammer which is what you're going to be really looking out for like I said the long grass does not really help you too much in this position it can cause a few issues spotting them but you should still be all right using the camera function to spot whether that bronze hammer is on the shiny form or not if you're worried of course just take a little bit of extra time to come and check each one of them in this area and um, you're going to get more spawning the further you walk further forward anyway so that can be something that you do just to go and check them all and say okay well none of these are shiny if you can't see them really that well from the position that you're in here and then come back to this area you know none of these are shiny in these spawns so again just set your picnic up despawn them all and then set down your picnic and get more spawns in and just rinse and repeat this method like i say if you're worried about missing the shiny because of the long grass all the snowstorms that can occur in this area and it doesn't take too long just to hop on your ride pokemon kind of do a circle of the tree here check all the spawns that come in into this area and then just if none of them are the shiny one then you can safely pack your picnic up and down again and start the whole process again and there we go we've got the shiny already here so you can see it is right in this location here and it's just chasing us around and you can see it is the bronze hammered one it has taken us pretty much most of the sandwich to get it and we're not in the most desirable conditions right now with the snowstorm running around but you can see the amount of tinker turn the tinker tubs that you're gonna get spawning in in this area which is great and if you are worried and you want to get this shiny in a specific ball then you can just drop a save right now especially if you're in towards the end of your sandwich power as well you're not going to kind of waste that and then at least you know you've got the shiny for when wherever it is where is it gone there he is there it is so yeah you can just save it so you know if anything goes wrong you've always got that shiny there um, and you can try and catch it in a special pokeball as well 
and we do it there we go we've got it in the dream ball we didn't use a false swipe that time but we got it in the dream ball straight away and that is a very lucky catch for us and there's the shiny tinker -tuff. so it is that simple it took me one sandwich like i said it did take a little bit longer to get the tinker tuff um, but now we have that lovely shiny and we've got it in a dream ball as well which feels pretty nice and the tinker tuff that you're going to catch in this area are going to be around that 36 to 38 mark so it's perfect now for us to use in one red candy after you've caught it just to get it up to 38 or just bump it up a level after 38 if you catch it on 38 or above you're going to be able to evolve it pretty quickly and get yourself the magnificent tinker ton which looks really cool i really like the shiny version of this now a lot of people do say that there's not really much difference which there are there isn't really much difference between this and the regular one but that bronze hammer does really stand out and i do love it a lot so that is how you get yourself a shiny tinker ton in the games super easy with this isolated shiny hunting method i hope you have a lot of success with it friends if you do try it if the video has been useful please drop a like and do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye